Hey folks, Lionel here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Lock Enthusiast. Today, I got a boot unboxing and review for you. These are the Gavin by Ruho Boots. Let's see what's inside. So quick disclaimer, Ruho actually sent me these boots for the purpose of this video, but it is in our agreement that this will not impact the review. Also, we will be doing a giveaway. No, it will not be a pair of boots. However, there is 14 prizes to win at the end. The details for those prizes will be at the end of the video. So here they are. This is the box right here. Very nice subtle box. Ruho, be brave. The lion insignia. It's very subtle, very nice, not overly done. Now, here's a good part. Unboxing it. So, first thing you see, very well presented. It's a thank you for your business card. If you want to pause the video. Um, return and exchange policy. Also, you do get a UPS label in case they don't fit. If you don't like them for some reason, you could send them back. No charge. Label's ready to go. Now, it is very well presented. As you could see, just beautiful. And right away, I mean, right away, just the leather smell is phenomenal. I wish I wish I could stick that smell into my AC unit and just have it blow everywhere in my house. That would be great. So very uh, traditionally done, you know, just wrapped in a box, plastic. Woo! Oh man, these are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. As you could see here, those quills pop. Now, this is the caramel color and I picked it for a specific purpose. First of all, I think they look gorgeous. And also, these quills are nice and dark, not too thick, and they're just really pop out on the lighter caramel color. So that, that looks gorgeous to me. Shaft is beautiful. Looks like a 13 inch shaft. Looks like a Western heel on here. Now this right here, this is very well done. Seamless on the cap. Also the bottom. I wish I didn't have to scuff these, but I do. I don't want to bust my ass, but they do look gorgeous. Um, and here the cap, I've never seen a cap that has actually uh, colored writing on it. I mean, that that's a nice little subtle touch. I mean, it'll probably go away eventually, but for now it's a nice subtle touch. The counter, it's, oh man, this is, this is nice and hard. This is very good supporting. Um, now, this is one thing I love, is right here, on the shaft, on the pull tabs, the they actually put ostrich skin here. And these little hints of look, what looks to be like smooth ostrich, that is just great. I mean, the stitch pattern here is phenomenal. So th they are a mail order company, um, kind of cut out the middleman, but a lot of them has gone to cordon. Now, they like to stay traditional. I mean, they do cording too on some of their other boots, but they, they did remain traditional in, in the way they did this with the stitch pattern. And I mean, they just they just nailed it. I, I think it's it's gorgeous. It's nice, feels like a nice calf upper uh, on the shaft here. Um, and I mean, the leathers, let me just take this off here real quick. See it better. Yeah, that's what I want, you see? That's what I love in ostrich, when it just bends like this, as soon as you take it off. It's a really strong hide, but it's nice and supple, and it conforms really great. That's what I wanna see. 
And actually, I did get another pair, of, actually a couple pair of boots uh, to show you something in comparison. Um, and I was hoping I was going to be able to use it in such a way. Oh man, this, yeah. Um, they did a great job. They did an absolutely phenomenal job. Now, this is the seven toe. The reason why I picked it is because um, their other boot, the Deacon, which is uh, kind of like a round toe or narrow round toe, um, it, it, it got, you know, a lot of review and a lot of rep, but, you know, th these are only like $30 more. And I, I don't know, I think they, they just look a little bit more premium, but their other boot looks amazing for those who like supporting and a different style. It, it looks phenomenal. Uh, let me just take the, yeah, I already did that. Okay. But these absolutely look phenomenal now i brought these other boots for a purpose um and i'm glad that i'm actually going to be able to to show you guys this purpose um these are my first pair of full quill ostrich boots they're from ariot now these are at $400 brand new. I got another pair here. These are Rios of Mercedes, ostrich leg. These are $1,200 brand new. Now, ostrich leg is supposed to be tougher or not as supple as full quill ostrich. For some odd reason, These Ariats, beautiful boots. I mean, you know, they, they're, they're not as pretty as these, but they are nice. And they're just not as, like that, that leather is just not as supple as what I want it to be. Even these that are supposed to be harder or not, uh, or more, or uh, not as supple are more supple. And, and, and that's what, I don't understand. However, I didn't pay 400 for these. I think at 400, these would be astronomically expensive. I got them on sale at the area outlet for $200. And I thought that was a great deal because they are great boots. Uh, don't get me wrong. Um, they're, they're nice. They're very comfortable. Could be in them all day, but they are not $400 boots. That's for sure. These are $200, great value, all day, all day. Now, these, these feel more like a premium boot. And these boots here are coming at $395. So when I look at these, now I haven't tried them on yet, but when I'm looking at these, man, they're just nice and soft with that seven toe. This is a nice looking pair of boots. Um, they look like a pair of boots that would cost at least $795 from a higher end brand. Um, now, at $395 from what I'm seeing so far, I mean, you're not gonna get a prettier, higher end looking pair of boots. I mean, this is just seamless right here. Um, and the way it's done is just beautiful. Also, looks like they're using a very traditional way of making the boots, which they're using um, lemon wood pegs and brass nails. So, you know, it'll expand uh, like with the leather. Um, also, the lining inside, if you look inside here in the shaft, it is, it, the stitching is basically seamless. You can't even feel it. I mean, you could feel it if you touch, but you can't even see anything in here. And uh, they got something called, uh, it's kind of like a memory foam for the insole. And it is also placed with a um, leather piece on top of the foam. Now, this will conform to your foot very nice. So it's a kind of a mix between a modern, a piece of leather, uh, leather lined, and 
with a little bit of memory foam, but realistically, I, I don't feel it's overdone. Uh, some of these, you know, like area insoles could be overly done. This doesn't feel overly done to me. It feels just right. Um, uh, it looks beautiful. I mean, it feels nice just by touching it, but uh, that is really nice. Also, another thing, um, these Rios of Mercedes, as I said, they're $1,200. Now, one of the things that are in a lot of higher end boots is to actually put a piece of the vamp material on the pull strap, which they have done here. It's a, uh, you know, they didn't put ostrich leg, but they actually put um, what feels to be smooth ostrich. Now, for $400, actually just having them inlay a piece of ostrich here, uh, full quill here, and then putting these little details right here with the ostrich, I mean, that is just gorgeous. And it makes it look like a much more premium boots, but they're not trying too hard. They're literally making it like a very high-end boot. And at so far at $395, you cannot go wrong. Got the single stitch welt and it is a good ear welt. Um, now, one thing I will say is this, seven toe is a gorgeous boot. Uh, it's not exactly a snip toe, Obviously, it's not a wide square toe, but I feel like it is much more presentable than a wide square toe when you get all gussied up and you want to just, you know, take 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 your woman out on the town. Um, I think it's a much more smooth, presentable uh, option to go with. Um, especially some guys, they just don't like to wear anything else but square toe. They'll wear this. Uh, I mean, most of the time, they'll, they will wear this. Um, guys that likes to wear the narrower stuff also will wear this. Um, it's just kind of everybody's uh, a choice. Uh, I do like square toe, by the way. I, I just recently started really liking square toe, but I don't feel personally that they do belong in a um, dress up environment. So with that being said, let's, uh, let's go ahead and try these on. That's the pop you want to hear when you're trying on a new pair of boots. Right away, oh my God, yes. Right away, they just feel great. Perfect fit, perfect fit right away. They're not too tight right here. They're not too loose. They're just, they feel like they're just gonna break in beautifully. Now, I picked the dark wash jeans when I uh, wear lighter skin color boots and they're just, uh, they're stunning. These boots just look phenomenal, especially with that dark wash, it just pops. Man, these are beautiful and they're so comfortable. They're gonna break in in no time. They're, I can't believe they're gonna be more comfortable than, the, than they are right now. Whew much better than some of the higher end boots that I've worn. Here's the conclusion. At $395, you're getting a premium quality boot that looks phenomenal at $395. Honestly, I don't think you could go wrong because they're even more comfortable than a lot of the premium boots I've tried in the past. Now, giveaway time. Ruho has given me these shirts to give away. I have 14 of them, all ranging from size medium to double XL. Now, this is how you get to win them. First, you gotta like and subscribe to the channel and to our Facebook page. Also, right in the description below, be brave and your t-shirt size. In two weeks, we will have the giveaway um, after the raffle is done uh, on the Facebook page. So you guys could be sure to look out for that. That is the end. Thank you so much to Ruho Boots and thank you guys.
See you next time.